And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we've got Europa League group stage action to look forward to this evening. Stuart, tell us about your pre-match thoughts. Well, they found it tough last time out, so they'll need to bounce back here, Derek. But at least they've got the backing of these fans. I think we'll see them play better today. And the starting 11 for PSV. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Yeah, the same formation and the same sort of game plan. So this will all be about which individuals can get the better of their opponent. This will be a tough battle. Van Anholt. And crossed in there. And the goalkeeper's touch, that was crucial. Trying to pick out a teammate. There it is! A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Yeah, it's a goal for Arsenal. They're the first on the score sheet here with 28 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Chances on. And a goal. The equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. El Ghazi. Well, let's see about the cross. Well, nearly shaving the post with that header. And played the pass well. They could nudge in front. He scored once already and close to making it a double. Well, every time he gets on the ball, he looks a real danger today. So the final whistle and the end of an evenly fought contest, but focusing on the hosts, what about their performance? Well, that's not a good result for them. And they're in a tricky position now. They need to bounce back with a win on match day three, that's for sure. Well, we tend to expect production from Luke de Jong, and that's what we got. How would you sum up his contribution, Stuart? Well, it was a decent performance. He scored a very good goal and had some good moments in the game. I think he'd be fairly happy with how he played today.